you get my car? I got it, thank you. And how is Officer Stewart? The one who was first to see my basement. Stewart's fine. Emotional problems, I hear. Do you have any problems, Will? No. No. Of course you don't. <laughs> you want to know how he's choosing them, don't you? I thought you might have some ideas. Why should I tell you? You get to see the file on this case. And there's another reason. Pray tell. But you might be curious to see if you're smarter than the person I'm looking for. Then by implication, you think you're smarter than me since you caught me. No. I know that I'm not smarter than you. Then how did you catch me, Will? You had disadvantages. What disadvantages? You're insane. Welcome back to the movie Buffer, and tonight we're going to be discussing Manhunter. Manhunter is a 1986 American thriller film directed and written by Michael Mann, based on the 1981 novel Red Dragon by Thomas Harris. It stars William Peterson as the FBI profiler Will Graham. Also featured are Tom Noonan as serial killer Francis Dolerhide, Dennis Farina as Graham's FBI superior Jack Crawford, and Brian Cox as the incarcerated killer Hannibal Lecter. The film focuses on Will Graham coming out of retirement to lend his talents to the investigation on Dolerhide, a killer known as the Tooth Fairy. In doing so, he must confront the demons of his past and meet with Lecter, who nearly killed him. Manhunter focuses on the forensic work carried out by the FBI to track down killers and shows the long-term effects that cases like this have on profilers such as Graham, highlighting the similarities between him and his quarry. There is a quality and feel that is not captured in the 2002 remake called Red Dragon. Even though Ed Norton is an amazing actor, you know I love him, and the film itself is eh, pretty good. Manhunter far exceeds it, and it wasn't given its due when it came out. William Peterson brought a certain ominous personality to this movie that could not be duplicated along with the other actors in this movie. The movie in 1986 was going to be titled Red Dragon, like the novel. Producer Dino De Laurentiis made the change after another film he produced called Year of the Dragon had just came out and he didn't want any confusion. Though so Michael Mann called the new title Manhunter, inferior. Even Brian Cox, who played Lecter, chimed in, calling it bland and cheesy. I suppose I have to agree, but the title was redeemed in 2002 with the remake. The 1986 movie is more cerebral than the 2002 remake. Michael Mann did bring his 1980s Miami Vice flair to the movie and gave it a certain vibe. But there's still more depth, more feeling to this movie than the 2002 movie, which was much more gritty and dark. Peterson's portrayal of Will Graham was chalked full of depth. You could feel his uneasiness, his brooding nature, and a hint of murderous darkness in his every move. Graham was more than just an ex-FBI agent. He was a tortured soul, struggling not to give in to his own sinister thoughts of murder and mayhem. Dr. Lecter understood this right away and knew that the reason Graham caught him was that the agent had a bit of serial killer within him as well. Brian Cox, who played Hannibal Lecter in the 1986 movie, has set the standard to what I felt Dr. Hannibal Lecter should be in his movements, his speech, and everything. I thought it was spot on and is what I imagined when I read the book Red Dragon back in the 80s. <laughs> Although we all know that Anthony Hopkins was excellent in, in the movies to come and now. I still only see Brian Cox as a true lector. Agent Will Graham was able to arrest Hannibal Lecter because 
They feel that he had a special insight into the mind of the serial killer Lecter, and it seems to feel that he is exactly like a serial killer, though he is able to repress those emotions. Graham uses his powers, per se, for good. He uses it to catch killers. There is also a great soundtrack to this movie that really brings the emotion and depth into each scene. In March 2007, a two-CD set titled Music from the Films of Michael Mann was released, featuring four tracks from Manhunter, The Prime Movers, Strong As I Am, Iron Butterflies, In the Degada Vida, Shriekbacks, this big hush and red sevens heartbeat in march 2010 intrada records announced that they were going to be releasing the manhunter soundtrack on cd for the first time with an extra track joggers stakeout by the reds yeah that's how incredible the soundtrack was We're not really sure what happens to Will Graham after the movie, but we're thinking that he still maybe consults with the police because he does say that he'll still be around. But I like to think that Will Graham morphed into our CSI agent Gil Grisham in CSI, the original series in Las Vegas starring William Peterson. Such a perfect continuation of the Will Graham story. Fun fact, in the CSI episode, Abra Cadaver, Season 3, Episode 5, pays a sort of homage to Manhunter by bringing Tom Noonan and William Peterson for a final case of cat and mouse. Only true cult fans like myself of Manhunter clapped and cheered at this subtle throwback. Yes! So, what did you think? Have you watched Manhunter? If you haven't, please do so. It is a hidden gem and just simply an outstanding story that tells the beginning of Tom Harris's Hannibal Lecter series. Thanks so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe. The movie buffer is so close to being monetized, so help us out by sharing. I would love to be able to do this full time and not go to the crummy jobs that I want to put a gun to my head every day. Okay. There it is. But as always, peace. (laughs) Two fingers.